Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video. Now, as you can see, today we're going to be kind of talking about my personal current go-to footwear rotation. Those of you that, you know, watch my videos a lot, you will know that I'm really into my footwear, particularly my sneakers. So yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to kind of showcase which pieces I've really been kind of gravitating towards the most throughout summer. Super quick update though guys, next week's YouTube video is going to be up on Friday at 7pm as opposed to the normal Sunday. And that's just because my brand Studio Du Jour has got another drop, this time all new graphic tees, one of them actually being this one. Um, so yeah, next week's video is going to be Friday 7pm. BST, same time as the Studio Du Jour drop. But anyway, back to today's video. Like I said, current footwear rotation. I'm super excited to kind of showcase to you guys what I'm currently kind of gravitating towards. Let's take a look. All right then guys, so first on the list, of course, has to be my Balenciaga Track V1s in the all white colorway. These have, of course, been my absolute go-tos all summer round. And to be honest, for what actually feels like probably like the third or fourth summer, like on the trot. As you can see, still in amazing condition. You know, I love pairing these with both joggers and your kind of wider slash baggier pant, you know, whether that be jeans or trousers, both honestly look amazing. Now, obviously, you know, these are on the more kind of expensive side. Um, these are coming in at currently, the, the price has actually gone up. I think these are like, I don't know, like eight or 900 pound at the minute. Um, so obviously definitely, definitely on the more kind of expensive side, but that being said, make sure you do watch this video the entire way through because I do have some amazing kind of more affordable alternatives to these. Also for you real ones out there, you ones that watch all my content, you probably know that I also have the Balenciaga tracks in this colorway, and this is actually the V2 version. Um, but that being said, I definitely don't really kind of gravitate towards these nowhere near as much as I do the white. And that's why these, <clears throat> that's why these haven't really kind of made my main list, but they're definitely worth this kind of honorable mention. <music> Next up, very similar to the Balenciaga tracks, that same kind of chunky silhouette is the Axel Arigato Marathon Runners. And again, similar to the Balenciagas, these are a sneaker that have been in my kind of rotation for quite a while now. And yeah, this summer has been no different. So these would kind of be, <laughs> I guess these would be my kind of sneaker of choice on those days where ideally, I do want to be wearing the Balenciaga tracks, but the weather is maybe a little bit hit and miss. And obviously those being like 800 and odd pound, you don't really want to take that risk. And to be honest, these, these genuinely do look just as good as the Balenciaga tracks, but at a fraction of the price. So that's why I would kind of put these in that list of an amazing alternative to the Balenciaga tracks. Next up guys, we have a brand new addition to my footwear rotation, the newest addition in fact, and that is these beauties. So this is the New Balance 574 sneaker. For those of you that have already watched my previous video, you lot have already obviously seen these, but I absolutely love them. Honestly, like I'm a huge fan of the color choices, the gray, beige, and kind of what I would describe as like muted green, just sit perfectly well together. And it's also a colorway that's completely different to all the other options that I currently have. So it's definitely a welcomed addition. Now I did mention in the last video that I am working with an online retailer called Thread over on Instagram. However, I'm not at all obligated, you know, to, to talk about Thread or include the pieces on YouTube. However, I genuinely love these sneakers. So I, of course, wanted 
to kind of include them in this video. And also, I didn't want you guys to miss out on the chance of getting 20% off. So if you sign up to the website using my link in the description, you'll get 20% off any order over 75 pounds. So yeah, definitely, it's definitely worth taking advantage of. There's literally like thousands of brands on the website where you can shop all in one place. You know, the likes of Cos, Arkit, New Balance, Balenciaga, Weekday, you've got Cole Buxton. Back to these though. Now, as much as you all know that I love, obviously, my chunky sneakers, what I really like about these is, is the fact that they're not actually too chunky. Um, so if I'm maybe wanting to go for a look that is a little bit more subtle, then these, for me personally, will definitely be my kind of go-to. They still have that kind of 90s dad vibe, uh, dad vibe aesthetic to them, but they're not too chunky. They're not as chunky as like the Balenciagas or the Axel Arigatos. Now, sticking with New Balance, next up, we have the New Balance 550s. And these, as you all know, is, or these are a sneaker that have literally been popping off over the last kind of like 12 to 18 months. I actually think that they might, they're, they're kind of close to being a little bit overworn. Um, but that being said, honestly, that hasn't kind of stopped me from styling these throughout the summer. Now, obviously, you know, the New Balance ALD collab, <laughs> that went absolutely crazy. And that's what kind of really catapulted the 550 kind of silhouette or 550 sneaker. And I love that collab, but I just, to be honest, I just couldn't really justify kind of paying five times, or I don't even know how much, but let's just say five times the amount. But yeah, the ALD 550, the ALD New Balance 550 collab was obviously one of the big reasons what absolutely catapulted this sneaker. Now, in terms of how kind of chunky this sneaker is, obviously, you know, they're not as chunky as, as you can see, the Balenciaga tracks. However, they are chunkier than the New Balance 574s. So if you are maybe, you know, on the hunt for a sneaker that kind of sits in the middle of those two in terms of the kind of standout chunky silhouette, the 550s, I would say, is the one. All right, so <laughs> moving on, this is a footwear piece that has absolutely burst onto the scene over the past kind of like 12 to 18 months. I literally, I literally see these all over Instagram. And to be honest, this, <laughs> this is definitely a piece that you're either gonna love or absolutely hate. I personally absolutely love them. And that is, of course, the Birkenstock Bostons. Like I said, I honestly really do like them. They're obviously, you know, a lot different to what I already have in my rotation, what I've already kind of showcased to you guys. And um, they're obviously, you know, a lot more out there, a lot more of a statement, um, but, to be honest, that's what I really like about them. They do, <laughs> they do definitely give off full on kind of grandpa vibes. You know, pair these with like a wide leg trouser, you know, maybe a wide leg jean. Either of those full on grandpa vibes, but at the same time, a banging combination. And like I said, for me personally, just something that is completely different to what I already have in my rotation. But at the same time, such a kind of statement piece as well. So yeah, if you are maybe looking for that one kind of piece that is a bit more of a statement to help your outfit kind of stand out, then the Birkenstock Bostons is definitely a great option. So moving on guys, but actually sticking with Birkenstock. Next up, we have the Birkenstock Arizona sandals and honestly these are the perfect summer sandal. Similar to the Boston's previously, these are kind of a love-hate vibe. I personally absolutely love them. I think they look sick and again they kind of offer something a little bit different in my rotation to what my sneakers offer. Obviously 
you know, these are perfect for summer. Easy to slip on, rock them with socks, rock them without socks. To be honest, your options are pretty much endless. As you can see here, I've opted for no socks and paired them with my green cargo pants. And to be honest, I just think this look absolutely bangs. Definitely one of my current favorite kind of go-to looks for sure. Like I said before, guys, these are honestly just perfect for summer. You know, you can obviously style them with shorts, but to be fair, they look equally as good styled with full length legwear as well. And yeah, I've honestly been wearing these a ton. Like they're literally right up my street. But yeah, guys, that is my current go-to kind of footwear rotation. Now, obviously here in the UK, we are kind of in the summer months. Um, so what I would say is once winter hits, this kind of rotation is probably gonna change up a little bit. I'll start obviously introducing my kind of chunky Chelsea boots, um, you know, like more Doc Martens and things like that. But yeah, guys, for now, this is the current rotation. What I would say is one thing or one kind of footwear piece that I feel like is missing from everything that I have here is maybe a pair of loafers. I feel like that is all I'm kind of currently missing. So if any of you lot do have any kind of recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Like I said, guys, next week's video will go live on Friday at 7 p.m. BST instead of Sunday. And that's alongside the drop of the new graphic tees from my brand, Studio Du Jour. This is one of the tees that will be dropping. Um, so yeah, Friday, 7 p.m., new video, new Studio Du Jour drop. But yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you are new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog and I'll see you lot on Friday. Peace.